Hi, I'm Dan Raywood. Welcome to IT Security Guru. So a story emerged over the weekend about the Internet of Things. It seems that all those internet connected appliances are actually working against you. The research came from a company called Proofpoint. Uh, they found that around 750,000 spam messages were sent out uh, by a particular botnet. Now, in this particular botnet, 25% of the appliances actually sending the emails that have actually been uh, compromised were not even computers, they were household appliances. Now, in some cases, these were routers, which are, I suppose, pretty standard. They're, sometimes they're unsecured, as some previous researchers found out. But also, in other cases, there were multimedia centres, televisions, and apparently even a refrigerator. So, you know, your, your refrigerator, in this case, was taken, was compromised somewhat because it was internet connected, and uh, it was used as a point in which to send a spam message out. Um, spam obviously was kept in the cupboard in the previous time, but you know, spam coming from your fridge, it's a slightly unusual story. Uh, Proofpoint's research said that no more than 10 emails were sent from a single IP address, but it made the attack quite difficult to block because uh, the location was hard to pinpoint. Uh, also, the devices had not been subjected to a, an actual compromise, uh, so they were just completely misconfigured. But the problem is, is the Internet of Thing devices are often are left unsecure because you know, the fact is they are just simply things around the house. You know, you've connected it to your home Wi-Fi for benefit of updates such as a uh, television, you know, you want to do streaming of uh, films or TV shows so it's it's connected to the internet but if that power was utilised by a botnet to send spam messages you'd probably be quite terrified wouldn't you? It's a proof point claim that cyber criminals have found a target rich environment because this particular botnet, which I don't think has been named yet but we'll stick with thing bots, has actually been used, you know, for malicious purposes for something that's actually been quite a progressive form of modern technology and we've certainly seen major compromises of systems in the past and uh, the UPNP vulnerability discovered by HD Morton a couple of years ago was a good example of the Internet of Things and how vulnerable it can actually be. Now could the next stage be antivirus for your fridge? Um, I doubt it personally. I think it's uh, we're not that far along but what we've got to realise is the vulnerable networks in the home connected to possibly a misconfigured device or an unsecured your device and uh, well for the ThingBot botnet it's certainly a starting point. So make sure you update all of your systems whether they be PCs, fridges, televisions or routers. Who knows? For IT Security Guru, I'm Dan